for now i'm gonna show you around these applications and uh, explain about the features that we're going to build in this particular video series hello everyone i'm vikas and welcome to small academy from this video today we are going to start a series on android app development and in this series we are actually going to develop an android applications on called fire notes and that is a note taking applications and this is not just a ordinary note taking applications because we are actually going to implement the firebase authentication system email authentication system to store the data into the cloud firestore at the beginning we are just going to let the user create the notes on our applications without creating or connecting to any firebase account but if user wants to actually save that into the firebase then they can create a new account using their email and the password and they can actually sync that to the firebase cloud store so that they'll be able to access that in the any of the devices they have our applications installed on okay so this may sound like a advanced applications but this is really not an advanced android applications and even if you are just starting out with the android app development don't worry i'm gonna explain each and every component that we're going to use in our applications and i'll be explaining all the course that we're going to write in this particular video series so that you'll have all the required knowledge and resources to understand what we are actually doing in this video series if you still don't understand and have questions and uh, if you want to directly interact with me we have facebook group you can join that i'll link that in the description as well you can also post the comment here in the youtube video i'll be uh, very active here youtube here in the youtube and the facebook as well so i'll try to try i'll try my best to solve your problem as far as this video series concerned i'm going to upload one video each day so it's gonna take at least five to six days to complete this android app app development series on fire notes i expect you guys to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you will get the notification whenever i upload the new video on this particular topic by the end of this video series we are going to upload this particular fire notes application into the google play store so that we, uh, everybody can access and download it and i'm gonna show you guys all the process that is required to upload any particular application into the google uh, google play store so yeah this video series is packed with all the uh, knowledge that is essential for the android application developer so i hope to see you in the other videos as well so uh, it may seem overwhelming and advanced but don't worry it's not so i'm gonna make it really simple for you guys so enough of talking let's let's go and see the actual applications that we're going to build in this video series so i have my device connected here and i'm gonna open it the final application is installed in my phone it is called fire notes i'm gonna open it and it has this typical uh, splash screen and it says logged into the temporary account so as i said at the beginning when user is not connected to the real firebase account we are just going to log them with the temporary account so that we can preserve their data and once the user logged in with the real account we are going to sync that data to the real firebase account okay so don't worry i'm going to explain all that in the later in the videos when we are actually implementing them but for now i'm gonna uh show you around these applications and uh explain about the features that we're going to build in this particular video series and here you can see we have notes and this navigation draw and here it says temporary user because this user is not connected with any accounts and here we have notes and new sync notes rate share app and log out okay and if i try to log out here without connecting uh any account into this particular application it is going to warn the user that says uh, if you, your note are not sync with any account so if you log out it is, it is going to delete them because if the user log out we are going to override this particular temporary user and we're going to replace that with the other user so all the notes he has created will be deleted and he'll have option to uh, sync the this notes so if he click on ok it is going to delete that particular user and with a note as well here you can see the note is deleted now but if you click on sync now he'll be uh, sent back to the create new account options page here so this uh, so, so this is the part where we have implemented the google email authentication in this part we're going we will learn about google authentication google firebase authentication with email and passport okay so i'm gonna go back here and uh, let me show you guys how this uh, add new note work here uh, we have this options to add title 
and if if user don't want to uh, complete this node or save into the server he can just simply click on this uh, cross button and it will uh, cancel the node okay now i'm gonna actually add the new node here save this and it will be displayed in the main activity okay now in the main activity this uh, we, i have implemented the recycler view and in that recycler view i have loaded the all the data from the nodes collections okay so we'll go we're going to talk about documents and collections in the later videos but for now you just understand that i have created i have a collections of nodes and i'm i'm retrieving them here in the main activity so this node have this particular options menu here and user can edit or delete this node otherwise user have to click on this node and he'll be redirected to the details of that node here we have a uh, date and time of the node when it was created and user click on this edit button and user can actually edit this note here so let me add something and i'm gonna save this but if user wants do not want to save that note he can just go back okay he can just press on back button and you can also notice that i have added some uh, animation while uh, going from one activity to another so we'll talk about that as well so let me go here and uh, show you guys how we can delete this and how this delete button works so if i click on this it's simply going to delete that so uh yeah so let me add some note here just to demonstrate okay save it so we have this also you can notice uh we have this background color for the notes and it is changing each time we are loading this main activity so uh we'll talk about that as well because i have uh, uh i have a list of colors and i'm um, loading them randomly in, into these nodes so let me add one more nodes as well and show you guys how the colors are changing save it and you can see we have multiple colors now okay so now if i click on sync nodes it's going to the login to the firebase activity and it's it displays some message here and this is important because if the user logged in with the temporary account and create some nodes and he actually have already have the account and try to log into that old account then he is going to lose that uh, notes that he have created but he's if he uh, connect with the new firebase account he can actually uh, sync that um, note created in the temporary account to the new account uh, i'm displaying this uh, warning message here so if he click on no he'll be redirected to the create new account and uh, if he click yes he can actually co uh, connect his old account here so i'm going to collect connect my old account here okay i'm going to add the password and click on login we also have this forget password options here okay now you can see this is my old account and it has all the notes that i had created previously for that account and uh, i can delete or edit these notes and now if i click on this sync note it says account already in sync then i can't do anything okay now if i go back or close this applications and open this again it's going to log me into directly to the main activity like this okay so guys this is the applications that we are going to build in this series so I hope uh, you are not overwhelmed with the, the features that I have here because it is not that much advanced. So if you are just starting out or if you want some Android applications project that really challenges you to do something out of the box, then this is the uh, video series for you. And I hope to see you in the next video because it is getting already long. So from the next video, we're going to start programming these particular applications. So for now, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends so that they can uh, join us in this journey of creating these awesome applications and publishing them in the google play store and uh, yeah sure i hope to see you in the next part of this video bye have a good day